Hi. Let's look at this community thread. So the question asked here is, is it possible to send multiple Dataverse attachments on a single email? Okay. Here is my entity called Sport, and I have got two attachments. So the plan is to build a flow, get these two attachments under an email, and send it to the relevant recipient. Okay. Let's go to the flow. So for the demo purpose, I'm going to use a manual trigger here. Next, I need to use the Dataverse connector to retrieve the record. Okay, so for that, we need to use the list rows. And the table is called sports. Next step, we need to get the attachments. Again, we need to use another Dataverse connector, list rows. Get the attachments are stored under the nodes entity. And under the filter rows, we need to filter by the object ID underscore value is equal to the the spot record the previous record id here it is so that's going to put in a loop uh, that's fine because i'm i'm reading the whole record records here if you know the record id you can uh, just pass the id here okay um, for best practice you can rename this saying uh, get all sports and um, here you can say here get all attachment attachments okay this stage we got the attachments uh, okay next i'm going to add a compose here and i'm going to get the each file name and content there file name and uh, content so we need to get that in a specified format so the format we need is curly bracket double quotes name and then search the dynamic content called file name here it is okay comma the next we need is the content bytes And for that, again, we need to map the file content here. So that's the document contents of the document attachment. Here it is. So before we do that, mapping the document content, we need to convert this into base 64 to binary. Otherwise, this won't work. So that's the key thing. So the technique we need to do here is we need to know the schema name here so to, to get the schema name what I generally do here is go to the peak code copy the attachments document body copy that remove the mapping place the cursor where we are going to map the expression click on the expression then we need to use the base to so base 64 to binary in brackets see under the dynamic content you can't see that oh i lost that i need to type it again base to 64 binary place your cursor inside go to the dynamic content see you won't be able to see the properties anymore so that's the reason i looked the peak code earlier to get that just paste that code that is uh, that mapping we did earlier Click OK that. So now you can see here base 64 then apply to each two document body. Okay. Once we done this, we need to append this in, into an array actually. So the best way to do that is initialize an array just uh, before the array actually. So call it as initialize variable. 
and uh, call this as attachments and rename this to this to attachments string okay so i think i got an issue here i need to remove the ampersand sign here and just call and content then this is uh, send retrieve attachments from dataverse send email okay that's the name of the flow try to save this okay the flow is saved right next add action and uh, that's up into array now okay up into array select the array variable oh i declare as a string pardon right that's array now and uh, that's a uh, array attachments and the previous output which is each this okay that's done so once this loop is loop is executed so you, you can call you can rename here also so rename saying collect all attachments there we go right so in this uh, once this loop is executed that means we got all the attachments next we could we could use the send email so i'm going to use which other connector you want to use i'm going to use the office 365 outlook connector send an email okay so i'm going to hard code uh, my name here and uh, saying uh, demo attachments next under the body again uh, demo attachments because those two are mandatory fields show advanced options you can see here uh, you know you can either uh, set it manually here you can add another another attachments like that whereas we got in one collection so the technique we need to use here is we need to delete that and uh, just click on the t sign here so that just says attachments so place your cursor under that and map the append array variable contents which is the attachments okay so because i'm using a loop remember i'm using a full loop here to get all the attachments of all the records from the sports entity so in that case remember you need to say set variable reinitialize uh, your attachments to null actually otherwise you end up having all the attachments there every uh, for the other record as well which we don't want to do that okay in my case it's only one record so it doesn't matter but i'm just saying that you know so you, you can just rename this to say reset uh, attachment variable it's nice to have some comments always appropriate comments okay once the flow is saved, uh, we are, I'm going to run the flow now. Okay. Okay. Flow saved successfully. You can see there is a warning here, uh, a performance warning because I'm using get all the records. So it's saying you know if you got large data set, there is a performance issue there. So you need to use the best practices like apply some filters or you know depends on scenario. Okay. So click on test manual and test the flow okay flow ran successfully i received the email which contains my two attachments okay let's go back to the flow again so the main technique you need to remember here is under that combo st uh, action step you need to map the file name and also you need the base 64 to binary expression for the document body to convert then append all that to the array and that's the key thing in this uh, that's the end of the video and thank you for watching